I want to thank Speedway Video. Speedway Video. I'm even faster when you watch it on Speedway Video. Go to patreon.com slash Speedway Video now. We'll turn it loose next time for 30 laps. Steve Darling. It's going to be interesting watching Steve from a pole position here. Yep. He told me his car was junk in practice. So, look out turn number one. All right, the four-cylinder division getting ready to go. Steve Darling down the inside. Dustin Green, look at this. Here comes CJ Creech looking for a hole through the middle. Steve got through one and two pretty good. Has yeah, they're getting together there for the third spot off the turn. Joe's we've got the 2J and Joe Cleats around in turn two. He's got it fired back up, so we'll stay green. Bubba Healy going to get clear of Steve Darling to lead lap number one. Bubba Healy able to wrestle a little away from Steve, and Steve don't look half bad from being junk in practice. CJ Creech getting kicked to the outside. Here comes Aaron Foy at seven machine looking down to his inside. CJ got left up on the drop of the green flag, kicked to the high side, and he's dropping back with Robin Dahmer to CJ. CJ Creech and Aaron Foy going at it for that fifth spot. Bill draw for the starting positions here today, and uh, that's really mixed up the field with a lot of the track regulars having to come from deep in the field. Kirkland the 95, Murray Ganey 42, really nowhere to go right now. Kind of work up from the back of the field. Bubba Healy doing a heck of a job in that number 59 machine. Bubba Healy leading the race. Last time I was here, that car went to victory lane with George Gorham behind the wheel. 44, Mike Duncan from the third spot just turned the fastest lap of the race. It was a 16.541. And he's got to work his way around the 68 of Steve Darling. Steve holding his own up there. Big deal. So maybe Steve is just holding everybody up at this point. Steve trying to get up on the wheel and get out of town as the cream begins to rise to the top of this battle for a third little contact coming off to number two of the 15. Zach D's trying to get in the mix now. Zach Dees to the inside of Mike Duncan. Down the contact. Pile up and turn four. Everybody stacking it up. Somehow, some way, everybody's still pointed in the right direction. Black over the 44 is in the fence here front straight away. There's the yellow. Black flag is out for somebody. Kirkland is torn up. Dees is torn up in turn one and two. Wow, that was like the biggest wreck I've ever seen. No one really wrecked. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was just about to comment that somehow everyone got out of there clean, and then we saw the 44 come to a rest here on the front stretch. Dustin Kirkland, heavy damage on that Chevy Cavalier. He'll take that car back behind the wall. It's already been a wild one. I mean, some nights you go out to a racetrack and you only get three features, and we're definitely getting our money's worth here on this uh, charity race weekend. Again, we talked about the little bit different format this week, and well, there is plenty for you. There goes the 44 up on the road back. They'll get in back pit side, and... From up here, it doesn't work that bad, but it obviously did some damage to the suspension. Yeah, a lot of these front-wheel drive cars, the CV axle um, is a bit of a weak spot, so they take a hard right front hit, or a left front hit for that matter. You can bust that constant velocity joint, and then you've got no drive. Trying to win that championship here tonight. The one machine, Bob Durham, is fifth. Aaron Foy in the sixth position in that yellow seven. James Matthews in 25 is seventh. CJ Creech will move up to eighth. And then some sorting out to go through the rest of the field. A number of those drivers hit the pit area. So we'll sort that out. Put the cone out there. We'll try to get back to racing here in just a moment. That's the 96 of Jimmy McLeod coming to a stop there in the infield. I'm used to seeing that car over at Showtime with uh, Cody Holly at the wheel. But Jimmy McLeod running it tonight. And Ryan Walters has been in that machine as well. Huge lead. And that's going to shuffle Steve Darling back to the third position. He'll be right there in the middle of it as they go into turn one. 24 laps to go. So six complete. So a long way to go for the Scramblers. And we're down to 12, so we've already lost at least two cars here tonight. Yeah. Julian, boys and ready up on the flag stand. Healy and Witherington going to bring him down to the green. 24 laps remain for your Scrambler division. Green flag is out, and we are racing. On the outside lane, bumper tag going into turn one. Healy comes back down the inside. Drag race down the back to the top spot. And it's going to be Bubba Healy. First now with the lead three wide, deep in the back of C.J. Creech down the inside. 
Anthony Lyle will wait for you back in the field. Go over and take Whoa! The 47 car just hammered the wall. Coming off turn number four. Tough break there for that 47 car. Allen Roberts' car shot up out of the second groove. And I mean, wall up the wall as hard as we can here at Auburndale. That was a big hit for that number 47 car. I do see him moving around inside the car, so that's always a good sign after taking a big hit like that. 15 machine. Zach D is heading back pit side, so something still a miss on that ride. Yeah, that 59 car has been a hot rod regardless of who's behind the wheel of that machine. Yeah, how do you get in the drawing to race that thing? <laughs> I believe first time here to Auburndale, and uh, he's learned on the hard way. Got shuffled back early. Let's see if he can his way back up to the front. Double heel your leader in that blue 59 down on the inside. But whether in 10 seconds, Steve Darling in third, Bray beginning in fourth. And then that 25, James Matthews, going to restart in the fifth spot. As we get ready to bring him back to green flag racing. 23 laps remain for your scrambler division. Green flag is out. We are racing Bubba Healy. Bill to get another great start on the restart there. Not quite able to clear. Healy going down into one and two. Well, side by side for the race lead. Down the back straightaway. Healy to the inside. Witherington to the outside. It's going to be Bubba Healy with the advantage again off turn number four. Well, it looks like they're going to eat Bubba up on these restarts and this goes into that corner, rips around the inside and takes off. That neon is all wound up and CJ Creech getting shuffled backwards again in his Ford. Up front, still with the time, Bubba Healy, Steve Darling and Bray Ganey. Going over to the third spot, Ganey on the outside and has the advantage as they go to one. Third spot chasing the track championship here at Auburndale Speedway. Bill Witherington not letting Bubba Healy get away though. Still maintaining less than a half a second. Or less than a second, excuse me, between those two cars. 25 Matthews doing some agricultural racing down in one and two, kicking some dust up. No hard, no foul. We stay under running. Matthews on the good run up to fifth, sets his sights on the track announcer at Armadale C. Darling for fourth. Matthews running up on the 68 of Darling. That's, but here comes the 27 of C.J. Creech. Not letting those drivers get away from him either as we're single file most of the way back through the field. But here comes that number 42 station wagon reeling in your top two. Yeah, I think the race just starting to heat up now. Witherington and Bray gain the two names that I see on the top of the score sheet. And the look at the results here at Omni on a weekly basis. It is a three-car race. Throw them under a blanket as they come off turn number two. Witherington, Orange 46, on the inside. Matthews is sideways in one and two. Gathers it back up. Three cars racing for the lead as they come to the line with now 16 laps to go. Bill Witherington trying to peek to the inside of Bubba Healy. Healy slams the door on him on corner entry. Here comes Bray Gainey thinking about making it three wide. Witherington to the inside going into three for the race lead. He's now got that preferred line off of turn number four. 46 is your leader at the line, but he's not clear of that 59 machine just yet as they go up on the line. car of Joe Cleats. Uh, they caught that line machine for best possible position, able to get him to go way outside. They get around him, still three cars battling for the lead, but it is withering toward the top spot. Ganey in the station wagon, moving forward now as well. Ray Ganey now up to second in that number 42 machine. Steve is about to be all over the back bumper of the 46 of Bill Witherington for the race lead off of turn number four. Ganey peeking to the inside, going into one. Not going to be able to get there. Charge for the 27 to C.J. Creech, who pulls that car down into the infield. Now look at Dustin Kirkland, 95 car, making his way back up in the mix. Fifth on team, Darling in turn number three. Darling kicked to the outside. Kirkland used cars crash. Back up in the top four now. He's got a way to go with only 12 laps remaining to catch the leaders. Witherington way out in front. Well, Witherington with a good lead now. Up to the 59. getting held up a little bit by that 59 car. So Bill Witherington, as we're approaching 10 laps to go, hoping we stay green the rest of the way. He does not want those cars on his back bumper once again. Ten to go at the line this time by. Wow, 
laps. So we're winding down here for the scramblers. One of a tough start for these guys. And now we're getting some racing action in the field. Starting to spread out. Big lead for Witherington in the 46. Bubba Hill will drop back to second. Bray Ganey starting to fall back a little bit in the 42. Trying to hang on to win that track championship. Something might be a miss on the 42. Kirkland may be able to catch him for the final spot on the podium. Yeah, the 42 of Bray Ganey definitely falling off the pace. It was almost eight tenths of a second slower than his last, than his best lap that last time by. It's racing that now spread out. We're going to go a little further back in the field as we've got Steve Garland running in fifth and the 7F of Aaron Foy starting to wheel him in for that spot. Aaron Foy going to try to get up to that line for the final spot. The top five, that may be the best on the racetrack. We'll see that 42 is able to hang on. Car doesn't sound all that great when it comes by the front straightaway. Still leading, comes by just like that. We're down to six laps to go. Six laps to go for the scramblers. So they make their way past the lap car, Joe Cleats. It looks like it's going to be clear racetrack for the five remaining laps in this race. For your race leader, trouble for the one of Bob Durham. He pulls that car down into the infield. Just five laps to go for the 46 of the A10. A couple of them dropping out there on that lap. Five to go. Only a handful of cars left. Who's going to survive this scrambler race here tonight? is brewing for that fifth spot. Steve Darling's got it, but Aaron Foy and James Matthews are real in the mid. Foy peeking to the inside, down the back straightaway. Not going to be able to get there this time. Oh, here he comes. Side by side off of four. Darling with the advantage in the high groove that time by Aaron Foy not giving up on the inside in that yellow number seven. Oh, look at Steve rolling the top side trying to hold these guys off. Heck of a, a, heck of a run for Steve tonight. Side by side, four fifth, off of turn number four. Foy with the position at the line, but he's not clear of that 68 machine yet. So we've got just two laps to go, two laps to go for Bill Witherington. And the 59 above the Healy looks like he's starting to make up some ground, but it might be too little too late. Yeah, too little too late with two to go. Aaron Foy able to wrestle fifth away from Steve Dowling. White fly ready to fly for the race, leaving 46, Bill Witherington. Final lap in this 30 lap shootout. Bill Witherington, 46, Bubba Healy, second, but you called it too little too late, Matt, as they go on the three. Bring him through three and four, and he'll see the checkered flag this time by Bill Witherington is going to win. Your scrambler feature, Bubba Healy brings it home second in the 59. Bray Ganey is third in the 42. Dustin Kirkland back up to fourth in the 95. And the battle for fifth off of turn number four. Looks like that's going to go to the 7F of Aaron Foy. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes out of the car. Let's hear it for Bull Warrington in the 46. About the only car out here without a scratch on it. No, he's looking for one. Bill, come on over here. Microphone seems to work right here. Bill, oh, this scrambler division keeps getting wilder and wilder. And you had to chase down Bubba Healy. I think you're the only one that likes seeing all those cautions tonight. Man, it was, I knew it was going to be a little crazy tonight when everybody started out. But, I got hit in the right front, thought I knocked my toe out, busted my tire, but thank goodness it didn't. I got lucky and got up here and got me another one, covered out of trouble. So, well, luckily, uh, I was there, but it wasn't too bad. Might have made the car faster. Uh, congratulations on a great run tonight, Jeff. Anybody you would like to thank? Uh, the Stanley's fans has been out here all year long supporting us all. Thank my wife and son, uh, my buddy Alan and some kids. This guy right here who wants my chore to help me out. So, um, just thank everybody who's got a hands on it. Ladies and gentlemen, here for Bill Witherington, your winner in the Scramblers tonight. Now, Bubba Healy, a good run for you tonight. You got out there with a race lead. Uh, all those cautions at the beginning, is that kind of what, what did you end today? The car seemed to go away there towards the end. Yeah, uh, the car started going away at the end, but uh, something's wrong with it. It's not under full power right this second, but uh, we still gave him a run for his money, and it was a great race. Thank all y'all fans for coming out. Y'all have a God bless night. Do you have anybody you'd like to thank tonight? Um, I'd like to thank Danny at Bid to Win Auctions. I'd like to thank every one of y'all for coming out to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, it's here for Bubba Healy. He brings it home with a strong second place finish. All right, we're down here with Greg Eaney, a third place finisher. Things got a little bit wild for you at the beginning. A little bit of front end damage. You're right in the middle of that dust up. What the heck happened over there in turn four? Well, it was a huge checkup, and I wasn't really prepared for it. And I got into the back of Dustin, and that, we just couldn't do nothing with it. 
Well, you've had a great season. I'm not here every week, but every time I see the results, you're either winning or in the podium. It's been a great year for you. I know third isn't what you wanted tonight, but overall, great season. Uh, congratulations on that. Who would you like to thank? Yeah, it's uh, we had a phenomenal season this year, and I couldn't be any more proud of myself and my dad and my papa for making this happen. And we, uh, we was going to creep up the first, and then uh, Bill Motor was about 10 to go and started fading. But, yeah, it's been a great year all year for us, and I'm just I'm glad we can get it in the victory circle. Well, I wondered if something happened, because it looked like you were coming and then you slowed up, but it a blow the motor and still from your third, at least it waited to the end of the year, right? Yeah, it's, that's, it's the Lord looking out to me. Uh, waited all year to make something happen, make a motor blow like this happen. But I'm glad he waited till the end of the year to do it. But I'm just very thankful for everybody and for him as well for keeping us safe. And Brett, congratulations on the third place from tonight. Let's hear from Brett Ganey in third place here tonight. Support Speedway Video. Go to patreon.com slash speedwayvideo now.